Good morning. Good morning. And a good morning it is. The Supreme Court decision upholding President Obama's wonderful action to support our dreamers. The DACA decision is something that uh, supports our values as a country. The dreamers across the country enjoy more popularity than almost anyone. Overwhelmingly, it's something like um, 75, 80 percent of the American people, three quarters of the people who vote support the dreamers. Three quarters, a large number of Republicans, independents, people who, over 60 percent of people who support President Trump support the dreamers. Uh, so this is really, we were in, just in such dread about what could possibly happen at the court up until last night, just if it goes this way, if it goes that way. But this way is the American way, and we're very proud of it. So that was this morning. Exactly the sleight of hand that Chief Justice Roberts did almost exactly a year ago today. In another case, where the chief joined with the four liberals from the court and struck down another one of the Trump administration's policies. In that case, a year ago, the Commerce Department, which is charged with the, by the Constitution with conducting a census every 10 years, the Commerce Department wanted to ask a common-sense question. The course of the census, are you a citizen of the United States? That's a question that has been asked in nearly every census since 1820. And ain't that complicated asking someone in the course of a census, are you a citizen? But in today's politically fraught world, the Democratic Party has decided they are the party of illegal immigration, as is the press. And so what did John Roberts do a year ago? Same thing. Wrote an opinion, said, oh, of course the Commerce Department has the authority in the census to ask if you're, a, if you're a citizen. Of course they have. We've done it since 1820. For those who are math impaired, that's 200 years ago. And steadily since then, to every 10 years, over and over and over again. But no, 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 John Roberts, little twist of hand. You know what? The Commerce Department didn't explain their reasoning just clearly enough. We, we looked at their memo announcing it, announcing that they were making a policy decision that they hadn't questioned legal authority to do, that Bill Clinton had asked that question, the Bill Clinton administration. But John Roberts and the four liberals are going to strike it down because they say it wasn't explained clearly enough. Mr. President, this is a charade. Last year, they pretended it was just about the agency could go back and do it again. They knew full well there wasn't time to do it again. That they had to start the census, and so they got the result they wanted. They didn't like, as a policy matter, asking this. There was no legal reason no legal authority to strike it down, so they played a little game. Go back and start over. And of course, now we're doing the census without asking that question. That's the same game here today in DACA. They don't like the policy, so they say, just go back and do it over. Just give a little more explanation. Just start over. Here's, everyone knows the game they're playing. They're hoping that there's a... That, in November in the election, that there's a different result in the election, that there's a new administration that comes in that decides amnesty is a good thing. And so this sleight of hand is all about playing policy. Five justices today held that it was illegal for the Trump administration to stop breaking the law. That's bizarre. And the reasoning is because the Obama administration violated federal immigration laws, for now, wink, wink, let's pretend, because that's what they're doing is pretending, Trump has to continue violating the law and behaving illegally. 
And Mr. President, Chief Justice Roberts knows exactly what he's doing.